Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have such a treat for you all in store. Last week I had the pleasure to be invited across to Under 8s, who are an amazing clan. I got the chance to recap their 50v50 war. There were so many great attacks in that war. I'm actually struggling to get this down to a bite-sized video. So there's going to be two or three of these, but today I'm going to focus on their bat attacks. Just wait till you see what these guys and girls can do with these spells. Let's get into the action. First up, we have Leo. Leo, I'm told, always does something a little bit different for the under eight, and today's no change. So, got a drag bat army cooked, but an Amphizi spell and a Skelly spell in there. So, let's see what he does with these. So, Giant and Royal Champion down straight away on the left-hand side. Wants to get the Royal Champion in to get that air defense. Uh, maybe the single Inferno as well. Yeah, Invisi Spell down to protect her. Fantastic value there. E-Drag now down just to create a bit more of a funnel. Royal Champion's not going to get much more value. Enemy Queen's going to take her out. But got pretty much everything that he wanted from that, I think. E-Drag's going to carry on just making a bit of a wider funnel on that left-hand side for him. King and Queen now down. Oh, Skelly spell down up at 12 o'clock to tank the Royal Champion and the Scatter Shot. Fantastic value there. Tries and Loons coming in from the 9 till 12 side of the base with the Grand Warden. Leo's King and Queen moving down from 12 o'clock the right hand side to help funnel up into the core. This is looking so strong. So many dragons left up in the middle of the base. Warden ability to help them through into that multi inferno. Rage as well. Here comes the enemy CC. Headhunters, dragons are going to destroy. Super minions are going to move up to say hello to the dragons. And the dragons are going to say bye bye. And then here comes the blimp. All the way through the base. No one where it's safe. Rage down on the town hall. And he's got the town hall taken down straight away. That is fantastic value. Here come the bats over on the left hand side. He's bat bombed that one air defense. Still got dragons up on the right hand side, taking out the rest of the air defenses. And there's just nothing left of this base. Bats moving through, still got three dragons up, Warden's still up. Got some minions down just to help the cleanup process. Leo showing us it's not always about the bat wave. Sometimes a bat bomb can be just as effective, and in this case, did a fantastic job coming in towards the back end and completely destroying this enemy base. Nice job, Leo. Going to be stealing the attack strategy using the Invisi and the Skellies. Thanks very much. Uh, next up, we have Dragon coming in with... Not Dragons. So Dragon is going to use a Yeti Bow Bat. I absolutely love this attack so much. Can't express it. I've started using this myself. He's going to get the Grand Warden down for a nice little Warden walk over at 3 o'clock. Obviously wants to cut a bit of a funnel to get his troops in towards that eagle. He's brought five bat spells on this one. So guess it is going to be a bat wave. Here we go with some Teslins down at five. And they find a little Tesla farm. Nice. Warden's just busy doing his thing up at three o'clock. Clearing out as much as he can. A couple more loons down at five. Clears out the rest of the Teslas on that edge. Find some seeking air mines as well. Awesome. Little baby dragon down at 6 o'clock. Going to just create the rest of that funnel. Yeti down. Oh, super wall breaker in. And the first one to fail, but that's okay. Don't worry, dragon has spare super wall breakers. Rest of the troops now straight down at 4 o'clock. He's got his king and queen, yetis, bowlers. Got a wall wrecker in there. King's locked on by the single. And one's ability saves him. Nice job. Nice little split now. He's got his king moving to the left with some yetis and some bowlers. Wall wrecker, queen, yetis and bowlers moving into the core. Does use a freeze just to stop that eagle from firing again. Still looks like he's going to get everything through that he needs to into the core of the base. Royal Champion coming down at 2.30. She's going to start taking out the right hand side for him. Rage in the core. Yetis from the wall wrecker taking out the town hall. Super minions in the CC. When are people going to learn that they're not effective enough when it comes to these kind of attacks? And here come the bats. Now he only has two freezes. Used one straight away for the multi-inferno and the wizard tower. 
And again, freeze them up, because that is it. That is all the splash damage left on this base. Everything else is taken out. Still got a super minion following his bats around. Royal Champion following them around. Got some wizards. Got a little miner coming in from the right-hand side as well to help out. B bats are moving around, though. There's nothing that can stop them at this point. Enemy Royal Champion isn't going to be enough, and the King certainly isn't going to do anything. Sneaky Goblins for cleanup are going to help out as well. His Queen is going to distract the enemy King now right through to the end of the raid, because the Bats and the cleanup troops got it done. Fantastic attack, Dragon. Well done, buddy. And next up, Master Yoda coming in with another Drag Bat. Looks like he's got a RC trick to do for his... Yep, yeah, over at 9 o'clock. Lightning and Quake down for that single Inferno. RC's ability through it, going to take out the Warden and the Inferno. RC's also going to get the Air Defense and the two Wizard Towers, so awesome value from her. Well done, Yoda. Here come the enemy CC troops. What we got? Headhunters, Super Minion, doesn't matter. No messing around here. He's got his Dragons and Loons down straight away from the 9 till 12 side. Giant tanking for his King and Queen down at 1 o'clock. They're going to take out the right hand funnel for him. Got all his dragons and loons and his warden moving into the core of the base now. Does use a freeze just to freeze up those headhunters in case they mess with his warden, but probably would have been okay without that. That's right though. Warden's ability is going to protect into the eagle and towards the enemy queen as well. Here comes his blimp. Straight in from 8 o'clock towards that town hall. Nothing there that can stop it really. Looks like he's got a Yeti and Sneaky Goblins in there, so Town Hall just disintegrates. Here comes the Bat Bomb, down on that scatter shot at 5 o'clock. Air Sweeper's not going to do anything to stop it. Those bats are going to completely destroy it. And at that point, that's all she wrote. There's nothing left on this base that could prevent this attack from being a success. Freezes the Royal Champion just to stop her from taking out his bats, because why not? Still got one freeze left, still got his Queen's ability, still got one, two, three, four, five, six dragons left up. Freezes the Royal Champion again, just to stop her from taking out the bats. And a dragon takes her out. Not going to make any jokes about the Force being strong with Master Yoda on this one, maybe in future episodes, but fantastic three star showing us just how good Drag Bat is. Thank you, buddy. For our final attack today, we're coming in again with Dragon. And he's got another Yeti Bobat attack for us. If you notice on this base, three multi-infernos, so not an obvious choice for bats. The dragon's going to make it look pretty darn easy. Little Warden walk down at 3 o'clock just to create a little bit of a funnel. I feel like I say those words so often in Clash of Clans, but it's true. That's exactly what you're trying to do a lot of the times. If you notice, he has a blimp on this one, not a wall wrecker, so he's trying to clear out any of the seeking air mines or the trash on the left hand side, up at 12. Some loons down for that, baby dragon to support. Warden starting to look dangerously close to the enemy king and moving down that right hand side, not where he wants him to go. So here comes the rest of the troops, got the ice golem down, got the yetis down, king down, very close to the warden to pull him away from the enemy king and back towards the rest of his troops. And then the wall breaker straight in to the first line of wall. Bowlers down behind with the queen. Here's the blimp. Enemy CC troops, yet again, completely pointless, but... People tend to use these super minions all over the place. Blimp makes it right through to the town hall. Looks like he's got super goblins and a yeti in there, so the town hall is gone. Nice little split now. He's got some yetis moving in towards the multi-infernos. And he's got his warden and his queen moving around the right-hand side. King doing a little dance around the walls in the core, trying to get the RC. Finally gets the eagle down. Here comes the bat wave, down from 3 o'clock. His queen is now tanking that wizard tire and the enemy queen, but he's going to freeze her up so that his queen can take her out. Awesome move. His world champion's now down at 8.30. She's going to take on that first wizard tire. Once that's down, he's only got the two infernos and one wizard tire left. Still got two freeze spells. Going to freeze up the inferno. Didn't need to. Royal champion got it, but that's okay. Still got a free spell for the back end. Bats are just now starting to take on the multi-inferno. Royal Champion's going to help him out. Take that out with one final blow. And then all the defences are gone. Clean up troops down around the outside of the base. Still got his Queen and his Warden moving around as well. 
and one cheeky little bowler walking around behind that loon just trying to support you can see this attack pretty close on time so if it wasn't for those bat spells it may not have been a triple dragon showing just yet again how strong yet able back can be even up against those multi infernos and under eight in this video showing just how strong this team is with bat spells in general doesn't matter if it's ground or air they look at a base they know they can take it out that's exactly what they do fantastic three star dragon and thank you once again under eight for letting me come across and that's it for another video guys thank you very much for stopping by if you did enjoy it today please like subscribe turn on notifications and i will be back very very soon with more clash of clans